Well, hello there. It's time to do some subs. Yes, you're gonna get the full me, the uncensored me. I'll put this camera tripod on the on the bed. The bad thing about using an iPhone is I don't get to see what the hell am I shooting. God damn it. Yeah, I'm shooting in 4K, yes. Okay. <coughs> so I don't know what I'm shooting at. Surprisingly, the tripod on the bed is not that, not that stable. Okay, hopefully I'm in frame or not. Who knows? Oh, today's date, yes, yes. <coughs> Twenty first of February, twenty twenty two, Monday, eight twenty p.m. It's dark outside. It's night. And now it's around February. It's getting the sun. The day. The sun. <coughs> sunset is getting longer and longer. That means in December it's around seven six thirty. It will be totally dark. But now it's well, totally dark around seven thirty, seven forty five. So it does happen. That means the change of the seasons. Not not that Malaysia has any season, but back then when I was in like Britain, I went there during the summer, I think. Maybe I went there in April. So I was around Oxford. I was so surprised. It's around 10 p.m. and it was still slightly bright. I mean pinkish bright, not nighttime. Pinkish bright. I never experienced such a thing before. Holy shit. Summer in in Britain, Oxford, Oxford, Britain. Holy shit! Never. I mean, that was my first place. That besides Malaysia, that's the first country I've been to in Britain. Spent about four and a half years there. Four years, six months. Ah, so today I went buying lots of stuff for shopping and stuff. Uh, this video is going to be about the headphones, but I think you should skip, skip, skip. To the end, I'm not sure when I'm gonna open up the boxes. I just need to let out some steam. Can't actually talk about all these things while I'm on the road. Yeah. So I'm gonna talk about random stuff. If I see something, then I'll talk about it. This time I turn on the aircon. You you won't be hearing the fan. Yeah. You won't be hearing the fan, the vuv 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 of the ceiling fan. Vuv. It's the ceiling fan. It's not on. And the old air, old icon, which is like maybe twenty years old, Hitachi, and unfortunately the generator or whatever you call it is just outside of that window there in the middle. The generator is there, so the heat might be coming back inside. Who knows? It's very old, so the coolness is not that cool at all. Even though I put the old ass controller, this is the very old ass controller here. Uses batteries. The small AAA batteries, if I'm not mistaken, I haven't opened this in years. Oh. Set it to cold, not wet. Oh, two, two. Uh, what do you call these characters? The, the one eye one. Uh, minions battery. Minions was popular many years ago, so still works. The only time that I use the, I don't use the, the aircon because I, I, I'm a cheapskate, I don't use a lot of money, I don't want to use aircon, that's why I always use the fan to circulate the air. The only time I use the aircon is when I choke the chicken, yeah, and I only choke the chicken maybe twice a week because I found the sweet spot. Sweet spot is when, if you masturbate every day maybe at night you know every night you after a certain period two or three days later you find no pleasure in releasing the juice so i found my uh, <clears throat> optimal release point which is four days means between these four days no touching the anaconda the Cobra Kai, no touching, no releasing of smegma, the love juice, no love juice is for women, uh, they call that 
freedom, nah, no doing all these things. So after four days of abstinence, when you release the lion, release the ape, release the salmon into the river, you will find more euphoria, more bliss. Yeah, of course. Susan, say hello to the audience. Hello. Oh, okay. So that's the most optimal time. Don't in for four days. Then you feel <clears throat> more, more. Uh, what do you call that? More satisfaction from your deed. Of course, that time when I was like going to New Zealand, I felt so nervous before going to New Zealand. Maybe for one month, I did not choke the chicken at all. I went to New Zealand. I was in uh, in Auckland, in a place called shit. I can't remember the place. Use the computer. Sorry, it will take. I won't be doing all these like cut, jump cuts and stuff. Sorry about that. Too lazy in New Zealand <coughs> uh, the capital city is definitely not the place where I went to what's the name of the capital city Auckland Auckland is not the capital city okay but that's the most populous and that's where the international travelers land all the time most likely in Auckland, there is a place called Ponsonby. Uh, Ponson, Ponsonby. I was in the Ponsonby Backpackers. <coughs> so, well, one time I smoked a joint with some guys in Ponsonby, and I, whew, it's crazy. I haven't like smoked weed in in many years. When I don't like weed because it's just makes me paranoid but the weed in in New Zealand that you get is all natural so it's more potent than the shit you get in not in Malaysia I don't smoke in Malaysia because uh, drugs in Malaysia will send you to the hangman or to the the prison so back in Britain the weed I think is semi semi natural and semi gluey as in like a brick is processed so it's not as good but I don't like weed at all is just sucks balls so this I haven't like a chuck the chicken for a month or more of course I was very nervous going to New Zealand by myself yeah just by myself is very very scary so when there in Ponsonby uh, backpackers and suddenly I was in chilling in my room and this this German girl was like talking to me a bit went in the room where I was at talk to me a bit then suddenly took out her, her shirt I love German girls mm. I love German I love Germany I love German girls mm. I love Germany so she just started to undress and I was like oh shit and then I looked away unfortunately I was stupid enough to walk away uh, look away I'm a gentleman uh, then uh, after some time uh, I think she left and I went into the toilet and I released the, the steam that was boiling within my gonads and oh my god that was the greatest feeling ever it's like I was uh, I've ascended to heaven and I was chilling out with God that's what keeping the steam in the groin for one or more months will do to you oh my god it's like the loaded gun is like whew. The feeling was so mind-bending. It was. Why the hell am I talking about this? Oh, uh, okay. I don't want to talk about all these things anymore. Sexual stuff. Once I got the iPhone and shooting in 4K, hopefully it's still shooting. Yep. I think I got my head. Uh, let's see the. Where am I? I'm wearing a shirt. Normally, maybe a few years ago, if I do all these things, I would be shirtless. But I don't want to show people my ugly ass nipples, my ugly hairy nipples. Oh, I love girls who are hairy in the there and 
the armpits. Mm, that's why I love Germany and France. Mm, Mamma mia, that's Italian. Uh, je t'aime, je, je t'aime, je t'aime. That's French for love, right? Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, once I got the iPhone shooting in 4K, yeah, 4K. That would be 4K video will be roughly about 40 gigabytes in the iPhone itself and once I transfer the file into the computer which is a hassle you got to get the iTunes uh, program in the computer and in the iPhone you have to select tick 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 all the videos or all the files in the in the iPhone itself transfer it into a program inside it like a VLC uh, app yeah, VLC app then plug in the data cable yeah, to connect the iPhone to the computer then in the the what call the app, uh, program iTunes in the iTunes in the computer uh, do a sync up then select the file that you want then transfer it's a bit more fences that you have to jump just to get some of the files into the computer if it is an android phone i think it's just drag and drop that's it drag drop easy peasy but i think uh they it is like a security feature for this but uh, strangely enough in the iphone 6s the small files the files that are in 1080p they can be dragged and dropped into the computer without going through itunes so i'm not sure maybe this is because of the files being too big more than four gigabytes i'm not sure so if i want to like uh, process videos those files right sometimes there are multiple multiple files you might be uh, record stop record stop you have a few files then you want to make it into one video so you have to stitch them together when you stitch that uh, you, when you stitch it together you have to use a program the program that i use is hot hot shot not a hot shot it's a movie <coughs> shortcut s-h-o-t-c-u-t -T. it's a free program shortcut i use the shortcut to stitch all the video videos together the uh, preset of this this uh, shortcut is 55 percent quality that's a baseline but i want to up it up into 70 percent quality that means the file would get bigger so one hour of 4k video 60 frames per second would uh, make the file bigger i think it's from like say i've written all the files all the files like say uh, like one file here which is 40.7 gigabytes raw raw in the iphone raw that means i did not do anything to it i did not touch it so many files that that is raw and all together is 40.7 gigabytes and the footage length the whole footage length is one hour roughly one hour footage will be transformed into 84 gigabytes that means it's like double the size when i process it at 70 percent quality true program called shortcut and the processing time for a computer like this one here is an i7 with uh, i7 i did not use hardware acceleration like the gpu or graphics processing unit i did not use that i just i think you use solely on the processor the i7 the main motherboard uh, mother, mother chip i don't know the brain the i7 it will take me take the program 17 hours holy shit one hour of 4k footage at 60 frames per second yeah uh, one hour footage will take 17 hours to process it into one single file and that one single file is roughly about double the size of the first one rain it's quite a hot day today uh, if it rains the, the audio will be quite muffled yeah it's raining and there's like a tin shit when I'm doing all this, it has to rain. But if it gets cool at night, I don't need the the aircon tonight. 
I mean, I don't need to use the aircon. Okay, when I use the fan tonight, when I'm sleeping, I will feel cold even though I did not use the aircon. Okay, give me a cool thing. And if you're wondering how many degrees Celsius, it's about 30 degrees Celsius now. So I did a Reddit post uh, asking why the Japanese they come to Malaysia and they make a lot of you uh, videos about why they love Malaysia and uh, uh, they say that the, the heat here is not as bad as during the summer in Japan. But I was astonished. I thought the heat here was very, very, very high. So a lot of people say, uh, how come you are using such a word? A word that I, re I describe the Japanese people as the Japs. So it's kind of like racist. This is World War Two. I, I love World War Two, so I use Japs. But I should use something less derogatory. So apparently, the summers in Japan is unbearable. Maybe about forty degrees Celsius. So after using iPhone. The quality of course is much better three times four times better 60 frames per second if i use the old cam folder which i don't know where i put already where did i put my cam folder ah in the bag put in a bag here just to like keep the moisture out so that no fungus will grow on the lens or something there's some some pellets here called silica gel so they suck the humidity I, I put it here so I haven't touched this in months so poor JVCGZ-E100 I had two of these here's the second one I used it for since 2014 if I'm not mistaken so it has this this brand or this particular type of or unit is has served me for since 2014 right? I think 6 plus 2 8 years for 8 years now I switched to I, iPhones at first, actually, at first I thought ah shooting with a smartphone eh. Eh. thankfully is the way to go for videos right well now I changed my mind iPhones iPhone for the wind I was getting out of but then now I have to increase my voice so the only thing that's good about this 1080p I mean this is not good when I'm moving around it gets very blurry the subjects so this the, the stabilize, stabilization software for this thing is not so good what's good about the smartphone is the processing power enables it to like uh, correct the image so when you're moving around it's, it, it makes it there's a mini CPU in the smartphone compared to this one this one no brains this is a neanderthal compared to the smartphone which is the einstein the only good thing about this thing is it does not overheat it's got sd card i can switch out sd card the iphone you don't have a sd card at all which is terrible and it can shoot very far away it can see far away this is about 40 times zoom i'm not sure i can't remember ah yeah 40 times optical zoom of course the iphone can zoom only two times but the maximum is three times so between two times and three times is a digital zoom it's a it's not a mechanical zoom it's not an optical zoom because the iphone is very thin it don't have the the long long this is so long right and the iphone compared to this is only this thin this thin compared to this this wide this the the, the lens can move to compensate the direction or how far it wants to go so it can, sh can be a peeping tom with this thing whereas this one you cannot peeping tom when you go to hotels you get to see uh, especially at the beach you get to see a lot of uh, interesting people with whoops and you can shoot them using their camcorder from the safety of your room iphone <coughs> cannot so what was i saying you're processing whew, long time now I have to leave the bloody computer on the whole night while I'm sleeping. I can't like uh, process the video using shortcut while I'm browsing the internet. I have tons and tons of, of tabs. Let me show you. See how many tabs do I have? And within those tabs, 
So roughly maybe uh, see how many tabs I have. The task manager and let's see Opera has 70. Only 70. Yeah. That's not like a lot. Now my so I got so many tabs here. And some and most of them are porn actually. Uh, so when I if, I if I process it and I want to serve the net serve the net serve yeah serve not serve my lord it's serve what's that beach voice uh, song I want to go down 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 Round, 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 SSD solid state drive you won't want to have a hard drive anymore the physical optical disk drive you won't have you want to put your operating system the OS into a hard drive you want to put the operating system in a SSD a solid state drive because everything runs so fast but it won't run fast when the goddamn shortcut is processing video so I have to leave the computer on while I'm not using it when I'm sleeping then I let the program run uh, of course 17, 17 hours for one 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 hour of footage processing it was going to eat up into my my surfing time serving the net time so uh, what can you do when you get upgrade yourself into a 4k video you still uh, recording yes you still 22 minutes radio go oh god, oh god. so what, what what do i have to say oh today i also went to the computer shop because this piece of junk my father uh, told me to look at it this one is uh, I think it's 4 terabytes Seagate Backup Plus it, it cannot re it cannot read the light does not turn on so I had to go to the computer shop and ask them whether they can take a look at this or not whether it works or not this is 400-500 ringgit 400-500 ringgit that's a lot of money so it's best to like let them see what they look, uh, whether they can rescue this thing or not then today also I, I got a few pairs of glasses, spectacles. This one has been damaged. I think I found a new term, it's called crazing. C-R-A-Z-I-N-G. Crazing is like a very weird lines, you know. Uh, I spoiled these uh, glasses when I stood too near to the fire and so it just crazed it. It's like, I think the polymer or the anti-reflecting coat or whatever coat has been like because of the heat yes you know micro micro fissures or micro curves or micro uh, folds micro folds and it makes the image like very groovy so I wanted to like do do it myself want to like do some sanding or use some waxing metal waxing some solution for the cars apparently you can use that to to like sand it until it's smooth and very nice I, I'm trying to like rescue my old unused phone uh, unused spectacles I want to like make it look nice because the old ones they look they, they look they are like dog shit to look through when I use the computer at night, I only use my new specs, which is quite expensive. I'm not sure how much it is. Uh, this new pair, pair of specs, I'm taking care of it. I don't normally I wipe this when it's dirty, the oil. Then I use my my shirt to clean it. I don't want to use that. I always use cloth, the cloth given, and I don't use too much force when I'm cleaning it. I just gently touch it like I touch my pinny 
How much was this goddamn thing? Oh, uh, the new specs which I should be wearing. I should wear the new specs, not the old one. The old one I put this orange sticker here just to denote it that it is old. It's full of scratches. Holy shit! It's just scary. You can't see it, of course, but it's full of scratches. Holy moly! Suckla bluey. This one can throw in the trash already. This one also can throw in the trash, but I want to rescue it by polishing it using sandpaper or whatnot and wax metal or something like that. Polisher for the cars. Doesn't make sense actually, but never mind. I have to try sometime. So uh, the new specs here, which I bought it about one year ago, maybe. Which I have the receipt. Cost me about 490 ringgit. Wow. Uh, did I show you any? Uh, yeah, 490 ringgit. Warranty ends and eh, warranty ends in next month. So I think warranty is one year. So this should be almost one year ago. Yep, it's the uh, 3rd of March 2021. So almost one year already. I don't have any scratches on this specs because I only use it in the room at home. I don't use this when I'm out and about because when you ride, ride a bicycle or motorcycle or go outside with this spectacles, it's going to get scratched. Stones, rocks, whatever. It's going to get 490 bucks. Is quite a lot of money. I went to the popular shop, so asking about this whether it can be rescued or not. So I'm going to bring it to them. Most likely, you can't rescue this 4 terabyte hard drive. So, ask them uh, how much is it to to install a SSD, a new SSD solid state drive? Because the one in my computer is about uh, 250 gigabytes. One terabyte of SSD drive would cost about 390 or well, 400 ringgit, roughly 400 ringgit. One terabyte SSD, so that's four, three, four times the current size of my SSD so I was thinking hmm should I should I not so that's how much this goddamn thing cost the specs here and it, and it does not give it does not run my operating system it does not store my pawn it does not do anything it does not run my games which I only play company of heroes 2 multiplayer that's all it does not do anything it's just like refracting goddamn rays and shit makes me see properly and it costs so much goddamn it it's too expensive, right? It should be 100 ringgit, right? For spectacles. This will, uh, that's why the optometrists always drive around Mercedes Benz. God damn. So expensive. That's why I want to rescue the old spectacles and see whether it can be done or not. Then I can, like, really and nearly, if it is successful, I can make my glasses about very clear with no scratches, mini scratches at all. I can just put my spectacles everywhere. I can wear it anytime. Of course, when you polish it, you're going to shave off some of the glass if you're lucky enough not to make more scratches. You're going to shave off the glass and the, the thickness of it is less and less and of course it won't be right for your eyes. So, you'll be switching a lot of spectacles, you'll be switching your eyes, the, how, how it focuses on things. It might be bad for the brain because you're, you might get a headache or something like that, who knows. But uh, still, still recording. Uh, yep, twenty eight minutes already. God damn it. So, oh, uh, there's so much saliva. So, let's go into the nitty and gritty. When I use uh, uh, what's it called? It's mouse, right? They click a lot, and suddenly when you click once. It registers as two. It's because the clicker is like broken. I used to like uh, always try to repair it by switching the old clicker from the the thrown away mouse and try to replace it. It's a lot of hassle, waste a lot of time, and doesn't work most of the time. So this this uh, mouse called Crown, uh, bought from Mr DIY. Mr DIY is uh, like a mushroom. It's like everywhere. And you can buy all types of shit in it. It's like hardware stuff, stationery, wax for cars, mouse, headphones, whatever. Yeah, uh, smartphone gadgets, but not the smartphone itself. Just the 
accessories, the periphery, the, the cheap stuff. So this one was bought in 2021, June. So, wow, it's more than six months already. Yeah, seven, eight months already. So this cost about 10 ringgit. Got this uh, when it was cheap, when they throw away stuff, old stock, they will sell it cheap. So I got another, another pair here, which is new. This is a new one, I haven't used it yet. And I got another new, this is Logitech, it's getting old, when I mean, click is very hard, it's time to replace the Logitech. Logitech of course is the creme de la creme, it's like mid-range keyboard, so it's quite pretty to have to throw it away. I tried fixing it of course, I take out the, the keys and clean it, blow air into it, get the, the dust out. My, my sister bought the laptop and she got three of these boxes, the Imperium uh, keyboard and a uh, mouse. I don't like the light. Hopefully it can turn off the light because when I watch a movie at night, I turn off the lights, the ceiling lights, and I don't want this to be glaring at my eyes. So I got a lot of mouse. This one uh, costs about 10 bucks. But I think you have to buy 16 bucks in Mr. DIY now. This one was very old. So housekeeping, housekeeping. Ah, today. Not today. The book from uh, Ipo Swimming Club. This is how much I read when I was using the internet. Just read it through the file. I got the file from sources. Yeah. yeah you, know when, you, know, you know when you're desperate to read something and you have to find it you will find it eventually so this much i was i was reading this much from the internet on and off because looking at the the screen is very taxing on the eyes after reading this one chapter one chapter of dune through the computer my eyes will be like puffy oh i can't see it all god damn it i'm like a japanese person now or a korean person i can't see shit that was racist so now I get to uh, read it, I can smell the words. Actually, it's just recycled toilet paper. This one would cost about uh, 11 US dollars. That's about 40 ringgit, 40 ringgit, 50 ringgit. Yeah. Of course, uh, yesterday I went to Popular in uh, Kinta Shopping Mall, the Posh Mall. Uh, popular is a bookstore. The Dune that was there, which I did not see a month ago during the time of COVID I mean the COVID was lessening and lessening now everybody's free to go anywhere so hooray so the Dune was the hard paperback Dune that cost about 120 ringgit it's like a brown hard paper hard paperback hard hard skin yeah uh, about twice the size of this 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 novel here Unfortunately, that one is cost about 120 ringgit. This soft skin here, soft paperback will be 50 ringgit. You buy the, of course, the, the hard paperback, 120 ringgit is double the price of this thing. Of course, that will last longer because it's got a hard cover to protect it. And the paper quality might be much better than this toilet shit. But this is easier to read. If I'm sleeping on the bed, and I'm doing like this, it's easy. One hand, no problem. Just two fingers. That one is gonna be hard because it's got got them twice as heavy as this thing here. And uh, this hard 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 uh, cover is not bend bendable so it's gonna be very awkward and painful to hold it. This one you can bend it quite easily. That one, holy shit. Uh, so I got experience with hard paperbacks. They are not fun to hold, but it's easier to read because the uh, the spacing between the the letters are much bigger compared to this thing here. This one, of course, you don't need a magnifying glass, but it's like uh, this convenience. Yeah. Thank God I get to read Dune. Uh, yeah, the movie is awesome. I mean, the movie, of course, is like only covers about 30 percent visually the movie the 2021 movie dune is excellent excellent 10 out of 10 
visually everything was superb very modernized but 70% of the content is in the book you have to read the book to get more story and uh, that's the the genius of Denny Villeneuve the director he's a direct he visual director he tells the story visually but you had to fill in the blanks yourself that's why you had to read the book to get the complete story but the the dune movie has given you uh, placeholders imagination characters I mean when you read a book you can't like you don't have who, this person like Duncan, Duncan Idaho what does he look like now you have something to grasp onto to imagine who is Duncan Idaho and he looks like uh, Aquaman from DC he looks like that and uh, then the Benny Gesserit mother Jessica what does she look like she looks like what's her face beautiful girl from the first time I saw her was in uh, Mission Impossible and I was thinking <gasps> Who the hell is this pretty girl? Uh, forgot what's her name uh, She is so beautiful, I'm not sure why It's just the same feeling that I got when I saw Rachel Not Rachel What's the girl's name? Uh? From uh, The mummy, the, the wife That Jewish woman Very beautiful the mummy, you know, with uh, what's his face, Mr. Jungle. That woman, and of course, she starred in that sniper movie, uh, Stalingrad. No, no, not Stalingrad. The sniper movie with that handsome man, uh, the man who is now balding, uh, what's his face, who starred in the Marvel movie as the villain, one of the villains. I uh, forgot the name of that. Uh, the sniper world war Two movie in stalingrad the female sniper woo, what's the name huh? rachel weiss ah rachel weiss woo, rachel weiss so beautiful when i saw her in uh, the mummy or was it at the world war Two sniper movie not sure but when i saw this like uh, jessica actress in uh, mission impossible wow so beautiful oh my god but never mind then uh, mr diy they change their products all the time and finally they have something like this they put their stock and i've been wanting to buy this a thermometer a food thermometer i want to like uh, when you go into the youtube and you want to see how to get the best crunchy fries and they'll say how much temperature and how much temperature first fry how much temperature uh, second fry how much temperature i don't have a thermometer i have to eyeball it you know see whether the chopstick is boiling or not the air bubbles going over off the wooden tip or when it's smoking already of course when it, the oil is smoking the vegetable oil or peanut oil is smoking that's what, how they say in Cantonese Tai Chai ah. Holy fuck lah uh, Deep shit yeah, Deep shit So it's deep shit really when you f find that the oil that has the highest what do you call that saturation point? No Highest Boiling point? No. Smoking point. The highest smoking point is smoking. That's the time when your goddamn peanut oil or vegetable oil is denatural, denaturalizing because of the superheat, and it might have free radicals and cancer causing agents and stuff like that. So thermometer will be help will come in handy. <coughs> this one you can put next to the wok, see how much temperature and uh, listen to what the YouTubers say because I'm not sure whether the YouTuber is lying or the cooker. The cook in the you the YouTube cooker, YouTube thingy person. They they put all the the temperature and you follow it to the letter and suddenly it does not it does not come out crispy fries. Then it might be the YouTubers wrong or the goddamn potato is the wrong type because there are many types of potatoes, russets and stuff and stuff and Irish potatoes and goddamn. But all I know is that the potatoes that I have at home is called Tesco potatoes. Of course, Tesco has changed its name. Uh, change his name to Lotus. It's not a car, okay? It's not a Lotus car which Malaysia owns. I'm not sure. Petronas owns Lotus, right? Such a long time ago. So Tesco don't does not want the business, so they sold their stuff to Lotus. A Lotus Lotus company is from Thailand, so 
it's called Lotus or Tesco potatoes. I don't know what the fuck is it. It is. Is it russets? Is it something something? A name? Who knows? This costs ten ninety. Now I can do frying with temperature. I will be the new Heston Blumenthal. So, uh, today I bought a bicycle helmet. Normally, I've been riding around without a bicycle helmet. That's dangerous, of course. But I have never ridden on my bicycle with a helmet before because it constricts my freedom. The air blowing through my hair, which uh, is sparse. So this is cheap, uh, about twenty six ringgit. Twenty six ringgit. Uh, if I use a Lazada to buy the branded one, it's about forty ringgit. So I, I must well buy this one, twenty six ringgit, because it's polystyrene. Once, if you have a bad accident, you knock your head on, on the wall or come crashing on the floor. This one will crumple because it's polystyrene. Whatever you get, uh, protecting your fridge or your TV, smart TV. Those white stuff, that's polystyrene. Same. Hopefully, this is much better than that, as in terms of crushability. Because you want the foam to actually crush when a lot of force is applied to it, so that the crushing of the polystyrene will divert away the energy, the kinetic energy, so that the kinetic energy is transferred into this the crushing of the poly polystyrene and not the the crushing of your brain or your skull. So. If you have a major accident and this has been totaled, it's time to buy a new one. That's why it's kind of cheap. 26 ringgit versus 40 ringgit in Lazada. Might as well go to DIY and buy this. The one with the attachable light, yeah? the attachable USB light thingy, a uh, uh, light that can be recharged with a USB, that helmet, almost the same thing, same design, same company, I think. Bisk? Is it something like to do with bicycle? Bisk. So it's from China, of course, cheap stuff from China. That one, same company with a attachable USB light, the red light, blinky blinky light. That costs fifty ringgit. So this is half the price of that. I don't, I'm not gonna go for the light because that twenty five bucks. I can buy a, a some kind of attachment light that's cheaper than twenty five ringgit. So I bought the cheapest, almost the cheapest. The cheapest one was about. This type, 20 bucks. Yeah, but they don't have that. The children helmet, I don't think, I did not test it. I think it's cheaper. But I just bought this. But I want to buy something else, which is the gloves. Gloves for riding motorcycle, you know. Because the, the vibration from the handle, if I go from Evo to KL, it will take me about five hours. Just imagine holding the goddamn handle like this all the time, the muscle constricting and the thing that you're holding is vibrating micro vibrations it's going to be like very very hard on the muscles here it's going to be like sore after the five hour ride so i want to buy a, a some gloves with the pads you know you've seen dune yeah you've seen dune you know the steel suits you can see some weird knuckle plastic thing that's something like that so i want to, uh, want to like dampen the vibration through sponges so that it will be less, less uh, bad for my hands. Last time I uh, travel and use uh, all this like leather thing it was back in 2015-16, where it was shredded to bits and I broke my collarbone because I was doing the Superman pose, flying off my motorcycle in around Malacca there, around the Malacca north south highway part because the back of my motorcycle the tire exploded and i came crashing down i actually i was flying broke my collarbone and there's a metal still here this cost me about ten thousand ringgit just to get the metal in when i got the metal in i did not go back to the hospital the private hospital to do a checkup or get the suggestion of getting out of getting the metal out because holy shit 10,000 ringgit you gotta be kidding me that's a lot of money and I cannot uh, I cannot depend on <coughs> cannot depend on the the government hospital because they don't do all these things they don't do metal thing collarbone they prefer you to actually heal naturally which I cannot afford because the goddamn shoulder was drooping down and it feels achy oh my god 
oh, just thinking about it, it gives me goosebumps. So yeah, I've been riding around without a helmet because it's nice and I was going slow. But now I prefer to like uh, get this and feel safer. Yeah. So the gloves, uh, the, the, the one in the um, uh, DIY is not not sophisticated there's no like those knuckles with the polymer plastic thing uh, there's none of that and the best uh, most expensive glove uh, motorcycle riding glove was about 16 ringgit in the Lazada is about uh, maybe 40 ringgit hopefully it's not pawn ah GT motor motorcycle riding gloves is 16 17 bucks uh, I have to buy it tonight because it's now 9 p.m. and I got a voucher from Shopee that says I can get seven ringgit off. Yeah, this one, this glove here with all the plastic things and stuff and stuff, and uh, stylish, sixteen bucks. Huh. very cool. But I was hesitant, uh, hesitant to buy it because I do not know the size. XL, XXL, medium, large. I, I just do not know how to like choose which one. So I'm going to like do some mental gymnastics and see how, how, whatever. I try to buy it. And I bought something else which I don't know whether I can show you or not because I'm scared I might get some porn. There's uh, so many like tabs here. Lots and lots of tabs. But where is the tab that I need it? I tried to buy something which is uh... Ah, this is the Carbool uh, bicycle helmet. It's about forty bucks, uh, fifty bucks. I think there's a much better, but it's all polystyrene, so it looks better. Of course, it doesn't look that cheap. Ah, I ordered this. I think it's twenty bucks. I think. I ordered this. This chest mount. For motorcycle riding, put it on my chest. Hopefully it works. Hopefully it works. So that I don't need, I don't need to use the no when I'm like it's trendy ring it. I ordered it already. So it's cash on delivery. I'm not sure. I don't remember like Lazada back, Lazada or Shopee back in a few years ago. Cash on delivery is very rare, right? But nowadays you can do cash and delivery. I don't need to go through the stupid credit card. I don't have a credit card. I don't want to use my bank card. So I want to like uh, use cash and delivery and it's easy. Just order it, then when the fella comes, give him the cash, finish. Bada beam, bada boom. So get this uh, strap, strap on. No, not the one with the dick. Not with the one with the dick. So strap on and uh, I have my blue bag. Of course, that's gonna like, I have to do some adjustments. Carrying a bag and this strap on. So the camera should be here, riding, I'll be riding like this. Hopefully you can like move closer to the chest, yeah, move the chest to shoot, shoot like that. So I'm going to test it out, 20 bucks. It's better than putting the camera or using the camcorder on the motorcycle. On a motorcycle, of course, you get a nice view because you, uh, wherever you turn, you will turn. But there will be micro vibrations on the camcorder. It's going to be like stressful for the camcorder. Of course, I'm not going to put a smartphone on the, the, the Actually, I can put a smartphone onto the Yeah, I can put a smartphone But I, said, I think I've tested out this one here First, put the smartphone here And see whether I can capture good uh, footage or not Because when you put it on the chest Vibration is minimal From the, the motorcycle, the pistons It's minimal If I were to put the camera, the smartphone Directly on the steering parts it's going to be vibrating so iphones and whatever they don't like vibration and the footage will be shit when it's vibrating a lot okay okay how many minutes already i think i, I don't have saliva to talk anymore uh oh, 49 minutes uh. i think i'm going to do a separate video for the boxing so tonight i'm going to make two videos oh yeah i put i bought this one for mr diy as well uh, written here like a thermometer 10 ringgit 90 cents uh, bought at Mr. DIY Tesco Ipo and 21st of February 2022 I want to write the dates and stick it here because I want to like remember 
I got all this stuff here. I want to remember when I bought it because I might have to remember like this Mr. DIY thing. I have to like stick something to it. The price because they, Mr. DIY they don't use labels because that's uh, cost. It's cost saving and they won't. You don't uh, burden the workers and they don't need too many workers to do labeling so yeah so I'm gonna like, put it at the back here to label labeling good especially when you have, you have a lot of sources in the fridge or freezer so you label it and put the date and what it is in the jar so one down one more to go Helmet twenty six ninety today. I will stick this. God damn it! Hopefully nobody will steal this thing. You know, because if I use this, I'm gonna like hang it on the on the handlebar and go into the shop and something like that. Hopefully no vagrant will will got them. Hey, this is the the what you call brand. So I'm gonna stick it here. This is more space here. I'm gonna stick it here, but. I, my thumb is always on this part here because I have to put on so I'll be touching it all the time so I can put somewhere else uh, here the plastic is peeling off because this cheap shit I think I'm gonna put on top I have to get the uh, plastic out first it's China made okay QC is never they don't know what's the meaning of QC which is quality control just in case you do not know that means you're from China. So it's very light. This is very light. Very, very light. It's super light. So I think I'm going to change the video. I don't have any more housekeeping to do. Nothing else. No, no more stories to tell you. Of course, uh, look at my ass. Looks very weird, right? This is my cherished sleeping oh shit my shirt is out inside out uh, uh sleep i sleep with these pants for so long already so once they were small little holes i might as well get my mother to put to patch it up because once you, you wear a shirt and it's been through the brushing machine hundreds and hundreds of times it will be thinner and thinner and it was would be very comfortable it would adhere to your skin nicely old shirts they wear this they are comfortable to wear old shirts that's why with your girlfriend they love to like get uh, they like love to wear their boyfriend's shirt because it's very roomy and comfortable so i don't like to throw away stuff because the longer the shirt is the more you time you use it the more comfortable it gets unfortunately at the end of this life cycle it produces more more holes So there's nothing else to talk about, right? Oh yeah, this thing is for the motorcycle one. My sister gave me about one or two years ago. I haven't had the chance to use it. But now if I were to go out riding motorcycle, I, I can use this just to put the handphones. I have three handphones now. The one that is used for, not handphone stuff, it's used for primer, primarily videoing, that's all. Well, that's what it does. It has no SIM card at all. So I can put the one that I'm using is this one here. This is the one that I'm using to watch my videos and to do the COVID authentication thingy and all the apps are here. Yesterday I had this very interesting app. Where it was like outside, it rained last night and the sky was clear that you can see the stars. And the app that I downloaded, which is called Sky Guide. Sky Guide, holy shit, I look at looking here. Oh my god, I can see Sagittarius, Orion's Belt. I saw Orion's Belt because of I know Orion's Belt because that's the movie of the Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones movie. I saw Orion's Belt and holy shit, I can see it through the phone. Oh my god, a smartphone is so incredible. You can do all this shit because of the GPS and the uh, thingy thingy camera gyroscope you can see everything oh my god unfortunately it's only one week uh, use it for free and after that you pay have to pay 10 bucks i think 10 bucks whole just to buy the whole app used for a lifetime that's cheap if you get a lot of like uh, 
enjoyment out of it. But damn, smartphones are cool. Of course, I was using what I was using this old ass phone here. That that was the iPhone 6s. This one is the one that is fucking old and it does not have a cover at the back because it's kind of spoiled. This one is like a dinosaur smartphone. I don't know what's it called. Oppo. Oppo one two zero one. I have the box somewhere, I think. Well, it's not here. Oh. Zart, one of my favorite female artists from Japan. I love the songs. She died too young. Died she? She died because she was like was being treated for cancer. She was in the hospital, and one morning her body was found. She, uh, she, uh, previous day she was jogging she slipped and fell and knocked her head was unconscious for one night then she died the next day something like that very beautiful woman i think she's a lesbian most likely because she does not have any boyfriend so i i i love lesbians so if you like this type of dry humor subscribe and whatever bullshit like and uh, if you like a a YouTuber that I love is uh, called Voxis Production, V O Z I S Production. Uh, you like uh, like Star Wars, critic of movies like Star Wars, and with a lot of dry humor and offensive humor. That's the puppet or YouTuber you should go watch because it gives me a joy to watch his uh, his commentary on movies and such like Star Wars and the shit that Star Wars has become. Boba, book of Boba Fett. Holy shit, what the hell, they just massacred my boy. They massacred my boy. This meme is from Godfather, I think. They massacred my boy. What's the, what's the actor's name? Who played Godfather? Roland Brando? Marlon Brando. He ate himself to death, I think. So, oh, they massacred my boy. There's nothing else to talk about, right? Always forget something I forgot. That's sick. That's why people they keep a notepad so, so as they go about their days they will like uh, write down what they want to talk but I just uh, wing it so this is my sister bought two terabyte SD card thingy not SD card a uh, pen drive two terabytes it's too good to be true right and it costs about maybe I think 20 ringgit if I'm not mistaken if it's too good to be true it is too good to be true. Two terabytes? Bullshit. Why should I buy a hard drive which is like one terabyte? Costs about 200 ringgit. When I can buy two terabyte pen drive for 20 ringgit? Doesn't make sense. It's too cheap. And of course, this is bullshit. There's a, if you go like, like Google in, into the machine there, internet, two terabyte uh, pen drive, then you get people explaining. The what when you plug this in, of course the the thing will say is two terabyte, but it's actually not two terabyte. There's something some wizardry that they did to this. When you like continuously put files into this supposedly two terabyte pen drive, it just overwrites overwrites the previous first files and blah blah blah. Continue on, continue on. So this is bullshit. I haven't opened this. I don't need to test this out. Two terabytes, twenty ringgit, bullshit. That's why when I buy stuff, right, I don't, I try not to buy stuff from China uh, using Shopee or Lazada. But most of the products in the world is from China, that's why it's so cheap. And that's why people buy from China, it's just too cheap. Uh, when I go through so Shopee or, or Lazada, I try to, like, uh, if it's from China, I'll have to, like, look at the comments. Make sure the comments, uh, there's a lot of comments and the comments say it's positive. And I also make sure uh, when you open your Lazada or your Shopee, I think if you type in the whatever item you want, the first thing that crops up is usually the most popular, most bought, and most commented. So that's the one that you might want. That's a tip for you guys and girls. Uh, girls don't watch this, so I'm talking to the wall. Okay, uh, the main topic which I'm going to make into the next video. Thank you very much for listening. Wow, almost one hour got them.